Hey lug nuts, welcome to Lug Unplugged. Today I have for you three different insulated lunch bags from Lug to kind of show you the sizes to compare and contrast. This is the, I've got the scooter, the chomper, and the caboose. The scooter and the chomper are gonna be much harder to find right now. They just released the caboose as their new lunch bag. But if you find it secondhand, or if you go to a retail location that still has it, you might be able to pick one of these up. This is the scooter. It has two long tote handles with grippies at the top, no crossbody strap. It is really big. <laughs> here's the bottom, here's my hand. It fits, I mean, you could fit eight full-size water bottles in here, no problem. The issue with this is what you can see right here. The lining was very pretty, but it ripped. Um, so I this, so I replaced this with a chomper but I still kind of like it because it still holds so much. Seriously, it holds so much. I love that about it. Um, little zippers on the front. There's a zipper on the back here, plus this. So little pockets for your phone. I love those when I take it to the beach because I want to have my wallet, I want to have my keys and my phone, but I really don't want a purse on the beach that says, hey, here's all your valuables. I like to just kind of hide them in the pockets of my scooter. So this is the perfect little beach lunch bag, plus I've got water and snacks for my whole family. It all fits right in here. All right, you'll have to forgive me. My chomper is full of snacks right now. So here's the size different. The chomper is smaller than the scooter. Let me see if I can hold up the top bottoms for you. You can see the difference there. The chomper has a Velcro front pocket here. It also has an ID window right here and a slide pocket in the back. Again, another great spot to throw your wallet, your keys, everything. It's not quite as big as the other one. The Chompers, they switched to this um, insulation. This one is a little bit more hardy. It hasn't ripped for me yet. And I, it still holds quite a bit. Right now I've got one water bottle, a couple of these, couple of fruit snacks, apple sauces, whatever, you know, the mom of two young kids needs when they go to the zoo or go anywhere. This just kind of ends up in my car, ready in case we need snacks. Okay, let's take a look at the caboose. So the chomper and the caboose. The chomper is much taller, the caboose is wider. Let me see if I can show you the bottoms of the two. You can see here, it's much wider and not quite as tall. So the caboose has the grab handles. Oh, and I should say the, the chomper does have a crossbody strap. There's loops. You can put it on or take it off. The caboose has a crossbody strap. It has tote handles. It has a nice zipper, large zipper pocket. That's where I'd put my keys, my wallet, my phone when we go to the beach there. It also has a trolley strap. This is the first one of these bags to have a trolley strap for you to uh, use if you're traveling with a rolling bag, which is that's handy. Uh, it is insulated all on the inside, plus these little wings can be unsnapped and that gains you a little bit more space. Um, this one is gonna be, my biggest complaint about the other ones is that when I try and pop them on the bottom of my stroller, they're tall. This one will be really easy to slide underneath when we're at the zoo or doing any kind of adventure where we need cool things with us. So. So just bring us all the way back around. Here's the scooter and the caboose. So different dimensions. I'm interested to see how the caboose works well. Uh, I like that it's wider because it's gonna be easier to see everything that's in there. Uh, whereas the other ones you end up digging a little bit. So there you have it, the comparison of three different insulated totes from Lug. If you like my videos, please click like and subscribe. I love hearing from you. Comment down below. Thanks.